This is CLS panel. That is color light signal panel. The main purpose of this panel is to supply power to all these colors uh, light signals, panel, relay room, telecommunication room, etc. This panel gets input supply from three different sources. Number one is up AT. Number two is down AT. These are two input supplies which has been indicated in the diagram, OH diagram. So this is down AT. This down AT has been tapped from elementary section 707604. You can see two circles with an error mark. Up to 80 has been tapped from 7803 elementary section. Here also we can see it in red color mark. These two 80s are auxiliary transformers. This basically is a step down transformer. We have a OH voltage of 25,000 volt or 25 kV volts we call it. From that our purpose or our necessity is 240 volt. So this transformer steps down 25,000 voltage to 240 voltage and that supply is extended to this board. Here we get an extension of up 80. This is the supply from down 80. The incoming supply will be indicated with the glow of these two lights. Apart from these two incoming supplies, we have local power supply that is from Tamil Nadu electricity board, which is we call it as local power supply. All three supplies are input from this for this panel. Here we have a rotary switch. This is called an automatic rotary switch. This switch is used to select one of these three incoming supply for our purposes. We have taken supplies to our color light signal. That is it goes to the battery room where it gets charged and later it is distributed to panels, color lights, RRM etc. We have one more supply extended to telecommunication room which is used for telecommunication purpose. Apart from these two, we have one emergency light for SM room. Whenever there is no EB current in this station, we get the supply for SM. One light and one fan is provided with this supply for emergency whenever there is no EB supply. This output is shown in these three light. One is fan. So this rotary switch is uh, mainly kept at auto mode. Auto mode is a position where from this panel automatically chooses one of these three inputs. At present the output is taken from up 80. You can see an indicator here. Whenever there is a power block in this elementary section where from the up 80 is tapped, there won't be a supply extended to the up. Automatically this rotary switch chooses supply from either of these two, preferably from down. I can demonstrate it by switching off this up 80 with this MCB. Now, up incoming supply, up 80 incoming supply is not available for this panel. Automate, only these two are available. From here, this automatically choose down 80 as its supply. Now, again, it is going to all incoming supplies. When I switch it back, once again, it chooses up 80 as its preferred mode. This, uh, now, why is it provided in SM room? The SM has to monitor all these incoming supplies as well as outgoing supplies. Because 
whenever there is no outgoing supply from this panel the current will be taken from the charged batteries which can last for a maximum of 2 hours or maybe even less depending upon the quality of the battery if that gets dried then there won't be any supply to any of these circuit the whole panel will become blank and we cannot work at all so it is necessary that sm should always monitor that outgoing supply is available here and to this all three supplies one more use of uh, work of sm is whenever sometimes if the auto mode is not working sm has to manually change this rotary switch and take the desired voltages normally it should be kept in the auto mode only whenever there is a combined power block on both up and down line the supply will be extended from eb and if there is no eb also the sm has to inform the controller that there is no eb hence the battery may not last for long and the controller will plan accordingly if there is any fault found in this uh, working of this panel we should immediately inform to ssc electrical coimbatore phone number is provided here immediately this is the basic working thank you